welcome to Global Champions League season 2022 here at the Mediterranean at the French Côte d'Azur in Saint-Tropez. This second round of Global Champions League. We welcome the league leaders in the ring. There is Owen McMahon who um, jumped for the single time fault in round one. Just a bit there in that line. She was drifting, you could see. And that'll be Hamburg Giants who will be delighted with an extra rail for Owen McMahon and Chakra. They finish inside the time, though slow, 69.35, and with four faults. Over to another grey, over to Chakra and Christian Kukuk in defense of their championship lead. More than an athletic jump from Chakra as Kukuk decided to add a stride, and it was the athleticism and the scope of Chakra that kept Kukuk on clear and there's the finish from Kukuk. The team Berlin Eagles take the lead at this point and they do it on a score of 13. The slowest on eight were Valkenswaard United. It will end up to Alexander to go first. She's not fast but she is clear. Now he needs to stretch. The five should be normal for this big striding horse and now it is Edwina Tops Alexander with a much needed clear for Valkenswaard United. Might we get a first double clear? Depends on this man, Gilles Thomas. Now, the stretch. She's out, and the long fiver there, and Gilles Thomas is clear, and that's a double clear from Valkenswaard United. Now with eight faults, they have put the pressure on the other teams to come. Istanbul Sultans, who sit 15th on the championship. It was a small win for them after Madrid. And both in Mexico and in Madrid, the Sultans produced the best round two performance of all teams. And again, it is fast from the young German. And there is a very fast clear. Look at that, 64.27 seconds. And now it comes down to Umer Karaevli. Jumped yesterday in the meter 45 and in the meter 50 class and now has a very early fault at the second fence. There's another one. So it's eight now and 16 and so two places down for Istanbul Sultans after the eight of Emer Karaevli. Hamburg Giants, Linda Heerd and De Curio. And she told us that she was quite nervous actually on day one. Maybe overrode everything just a little bit. Let's see if she's more calm and composed now. She gets out of the combination. There's the very long five. And how does she finish? Clear. Great, great ride from Linda Heerd and De Curio. Just under 68 seconds. That's the time that the Lesher needs to find. 67.50, let's say, and clear. That is the ambition to put the Hamburg Giants in the lead. You know, it's down. And so it's 12. They uh, slide behind. Valkenswaard United. And the Lester long five and home. And look at the time, 63.18 seconds. They go to second at the moment. It's Shanghai Swans with Jean Sadran and Christian Alma. Does that really well, Jean Sadran. Fault hind leg, so also on eight team score as Valkenswaard United. And Sadra adds a stride, I think, on 6 2 with the last. She comes home on 4 in 69.36 seconds. Christian Amam, second man on the team, on his stallion on solid gold set. And Amam out of the double to keep the team in the lead, and he makes it happen. Good clear from Christian Amam, puts the team in the leading position. Is this then finally going to be the day that the Paris Panthers are going to show their true face? So far the team has someone disappointed, we have to be fair about that. Great jumping there from Monaco, very supple over his body. Little bit flat there to the Liverpool. And Harry Smulders posts a clear for Paris Panthers. And with that fence they dropped to uh, sixth. Now to Mayer. Oh, and it's Ben Mayer with Faltic landing on the back rail. Four is good enough. Here comes Mayer. It's going to get very tight there. It's 66 9 5. And behind Shanghai Swans, ahead of Valke Swart United. Rome Gladiators. They were the fastest of all the four folders in round one. 
its first claimants on um, Hilde by Vigo Darsui. Oh, and there it falls, and now you see, this is what could happen. Oh, and now, <laughs> look at that, Shanghai Swans are guaranteed of a podium, because it's two fences down for Rome Gladiators. As Clemens races home, but the team straight away dropped at least three places. Here is Edouard Levy on Rebecca Ellis. Oh, and the first fence falls for Edouard Levy. Where will they land? In front or behind Istanbul Sultans? The finish, and they go just in front, just in front of Istanbul Sultans. Here come Prague Lions on the double clear from GCL round one. Niels Brandshills, El Peter de Vos, Deluxe van TNL, and Mom Stupi de la Roque. Ooh, big rattle on the back rail. Oh, is he going to be the man who posts a double clear for himself over round one and round two? with room into the combination and stretch out of it that's a beautiful ride from brown sales and his home on clear he's not super fast but it's a good clear to start with peter de vos moms to pied la rock oh there goes the back rail at hermes that means that stockholm hearts will start with a rail in hand for the lead and the podium finish and that's what they have it is one down for the Voss, but it's four faults over all rounds for Prague Lions. You would think that these two are some of the fastest. Marlin Baja Johnson with Indiana, Peter Felixson with Catch Me Not. Marlin Baja Johnson, H&M Indiana, one big push and then the long five to make it all possible for Peter Felixson. And there's a finish and 66.57 is a good time as well, should it come ever down to combined times. We welcome Peter Fredriksson on Catch Me Not As. And Catch Me Not, and it falls, and it falls, and now it comes down to time. Because it's just possible that here he gets a little bit behind on the schedule of the Prague Lions. Here's the finish, it's going to be Lions, it's going to be Lions indeed. Lions win in Central Bay, and Stockholm Hearts don't capitalize. And Prague Lions are the winners of the Global Champions League in Central Bay. The difference, a quarter of a second, 0.25 decides over winning or losing here in Saint-Tropez. To be honest, I didn't expect it, uh, that we would be faster, so uh, today the luck uh, was on our side. Thank you very much for watching this round of Global Champions League, the fifth stage, and make sure you join us again when we're in Hamburg at Kleinfeldbeck in less than a week's time.